If one wants to improve one's mind by studying one poet, if one wants to learn the possibilities of the English language by studying any one poet, it's Shakespeare. It is an academic program, and so we work really hard, and we see lots of the city, and we have lots of fun. We get into the mind of Shakespeare. We, we find out what Shakespeare teaches us about what it means to be human. You're in good hands with people who know Italy, who know how to bring American students to Italy. It will bring you out of yourself, you will experience things like you've never experienced them before and you will have the adventure of a lifetime. I loved it. I loved it. Shakespeare in Italy program is for high school students to study at the University of Dallas's Rome campus uh, for two and a half weeks to study some of Shakespeare's plays that he set in Italy and at the same time to travel around Italy. Uh, we'll be studying Julius Caesar while walking around the Roman Forum, seeing the Colosseum, seeing the sites of Republican and Imperial Rome. We then go up to Venice and we see the great city built on water, Venice, and at the same time we study two of Shakespeare's Venetian plays, Othello and Merchant of Venice. So what we do is we have a college class set in Italy, but it's a college class in which the classroom is not just the classroom, but Rome itself is the classroom. Venice itself is the classroom. Not just a tourist program. It's an academic intellectual program where we bring you to bear on some of the most beautiful poems, some of the most complex poetry, and some of the deepest investigations of the human spirit in all of the English tradition. We want you to think, we want you to explore, we want you to bathe in the beauty of Shakespeare's words and the beauty of Italy. Students will be among a number of like-minded, intelligent students who are all excited about studying Shakespeare. And we will be leading them in discussions so that they'll be, they'll be thinking about Shakespeare at the deepest level. I was just drawn to the title, Shakespeare in Italy, and it kind of confused me. Why on earth are we studying Shakespeare in Italy? And then I realized once I got there that it it's perfectly relevant. His Italian plays come to life when you read them there. I really started to love like discussions about literature, not so, like versus a lecture, because in high school you, you know, you're just starting to really get some kind of a grasp for literature and the different themes and complexities of it. And when I was over there, it was like they really wanted to know what you were thinking. And now I think I've started to enter into dialogue with texts more and then having just like the classroom environment be more of a discussion than a lecture. We're really trying to discover what was happening. It was very honest dialogue. The main question of the course is what really fascinated Shakespeare so much about this city, about this country. He sent over a quarter, almost a third of his plays in Italy from Romeo and Juliet to Julius Caesar to The Tempest. So we want to know what brought this Englishman's mind to bear on ancient Rome on Renaissance Italy, on Venice, on Padua, on Verona. And what continued to fascinate him throughout his career by this place? A typical day for the Shakespeare in Italy program begins early. We want to beat the traffic. Roman traffic can be bad. And we want to beat the heat. So we try to get into the city by 8, 8.30 or so every day. And then we go on a walking tour. And these walking tours tie back into our study of Shakespeare. We spend the morning at the Roman Forum. And while there, we go to the very site where Mark Antony delivered his funeral oration over the corpse of Caesar. And we have our students then perform that scene. We explore in an intelligent way, not as tourists, but as intellectuals, trying to discover what was Rome in its own time and what was it for Shakespeare. We usually come back at around, uh, leave at around noontime, right before the heat gets bad. And we come back to our campus, which is in an area, it's just 12 miles south of Rome, but it's rural, it's peaceful. And then the students relax. The students have time to go to the swimming pool, uh, play soccer, hang out at the cappuccino bar, catch up on their reading, take a nap, uh, before we meet again in the late afternoon for a lecture or a seminar. Then we have dinner. And then after dinner, we have a writing tutorial or a small group discussion. And then the students have a few more hours just to hang out and enjoy each other's company. About the middle of the program, we leave Rome and we go by train now up to northern Italy. And we see these two remarkable cities, Padua and Venice. 
and we then lead the students around Venice. We walk around its canals, we walk through the various sestieri, the, the districts of Venice, and it's just thrilling to be in a, in a city that looks like nothing else in the world. I didn't know a lot about Venice before I went there, other than it had canals instead of roads. But when I went, it was like just this, it was a, greater than I could even imagine. We especially work with students on their writing. What we do is we get students ready to succeed in college, to write A-level papers in college. Each night we have small group tutorials and the students report that this is one of the most beneficial aspects of the program. They come back better writers, better thinkers, their SAT scores improve, and they just have broadened their minds and led their souls to a higher place. I came back after the program and went into all my classes in high, at my last year of high school, but also in college, with this very concrete knowledge of like what was expected of me in regards to what kind of things are academic topics, and your writing improves so much just on the individual basis of attention in the classes. I got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time helping me hone my writing skills. I improved so much as a writer after Shakespeare in Italy. After only two weeks, at least, in Italy, with these professors with such a concentrated focus on you and on your ability, you, or at least I, was able to grow in an extraordinary fashion. I could not write things that I felt confident about until the end of that program. What we strive for in the program, and think we're quite good at, is balancing academic seriousness and having a good time, which is what students will have to learn to do for themselves when they go off to college. Uh, we are in the classroom. Students will be writing papers. Students will be hearing lectures. And yet the students will have time to wander around Rome, to see Venice, to hang out with friends. And they learn to balance these things well. Shakespeare in Italy was really important to me. It gave me a perspective of what college is actually like. It's very different from high school, and it actually got me really, really excited about going to college, and not just about going to college for college life, but for learning and taking all the classes. And I think it's important for high schoolers to sort of get a view of a world beyond what they already know. I loved how like, seamless it was, going from seeing everything in the city to learning about it in the classroom, and reading the books, and writing the papers, and the discussions you would have at night. It all flowed so well, and it went together really well. Shakespeare in Italy is important because it allows high school students to start encountering great texts. If you are in high school looking for something that will give you an unbelievable amount of meaning outside of this simple American classroom setting, go to Shakespeare in Italy. For God's sake, go to Shakespeare in Italy. If one wants to study the past so as to discover the possibilities of the future, there's no better place to study than Rome.